Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for bouts number three of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League Week number 15, live from the Bukum Boxing Arena. Now we are ready, and this is a super lightweight contest over six rounds. Officials for this bout Judge one, Confidence Yago. Judge two, Me Minsa Akako. And Judge three, Shadron Kakwe. Now, introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner, from the gym, from the Palm Spring Boxing Gymnasium, under the tutelage of the man called the American Man. And this box has spotted in the black and white trunks, red and white shoe, and red and white gloves to match. With the official record of he has never fought as a professional boxer, and he's just making his debut today. With a weight of 142 pounds, presenting to you the boxer, David Odati Lamde. Switching over to the red corner. And this is a boxer who was born and bred in Rocco in the Bogotanga, Upper East region of Ghana. This is the man with the weight of 141 pounds. This is the man who is a military officer, a copra. This is the man with the official record of three fights, no defeats, one draw, two wins. Presenting to you the boxer from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium, Philip Ingua. And the man in charge of this fight is Ishmael Williams. Well, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight that will obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves and all the best. And we're going to see Philip Ingua from Black Panthers Gym take on David Odate Lamte from Palm Springs. Like uh, Nana Samgold told you earlier on, Ingua is a member of the Ghana Armed Forces and it's almost always interesting to have the security services uh, perform and perform creditably I should say when it comes to professional boxing here we go with round one Ingwa is in the uh, black trunks and his opponent Odate is also in black trunks but the flamboyant style and Prince Philip is from a family of boxers indeed his father Sule Ingwa was a former national champion and his elder brother Matthias Ingwa Matthias Sule Ingwa is also a super lightweight prospect. So Philip Ingwa is from a family of boxers. Well, quite an explosive one. Both boxers obviously not yet to settle at all, giving it all they have. Philip Ingwa is the taller of the two boxers. And Ingwa in his last fight last year at the, the zone beach result, he lost to Emmanuel Quarte of the bronze uh, boxing gymnasium. He would love to bounce back and win his style on this fight night. Some hefty punches being thrown by both boxers, wild misses as well. But David Odate Lamte trying to put pressure on Ingwa. David Lamte, he heals, he, he resides somewhere around Dansum and Mataheko, and I believe the fans are here in their numbers on his debut, wearing dreadlocks. All good to have the two boxers show exactly what they're made of. Ingwa, obviously, he's been there, he's done that. Proud member of the uh, Ghana Armed Forces. But also showing what he can do when it comes to professional boxing. Joining us in commentary position and we'll be hearing from him a little bit uh, later. Mubarak Yusuf Nano. Mubarak Yusuf Nano is a matchmaker when it comes to boxing. But was also the handler for John Quay in terms of managerial abilities. John Quay fights next. I'm not too sure what Ingwa wanted to do there. 
warning from our referee Ishmael Williams so we'll have a, an insight into John Quay as he comes up next and uh, who else to tell us a lot about the prospects of John Quay the abilities than Mubarak Yusuf Nado Mubarak Yusuf Nano was the manager of John Quay and also a matchmaker with the power of uh, David Lamte, he landed one right hand and he really uh, uh, rocked uh, Philip Ingwa. So Ingwa, in as much as he's on the um, ascendancy, he should be wary of the power of uh, David Lamte. Here we go, it's the second round, it's scheduled for six. Black Panthers, Philip Ingwa. The taller of the two. And uh, David Udate Lamte is in the flamboyant uh, black trunks. It's a give and take at this stage. I love to see the two boxers would want to outdo each other. And like I said, John Quay will be fighting next. And so we are glad to have uh, Mubarak with us. Mubarak has managed John Quay, so he knows him inside out. And of course, he's also a matchmaker when it comes to uh, boxing. Mubarak, thank you very much for joining us. So we're looking forward to some some wonderful performances now since the uh, fights began we saw john quay in action and it looks like you have put together a very solid boxer he's going to be fighting tonight yeah are we going to see anything different or is the same john quay the same john quay but yeah. we, we'll be bringing you some new antics and some new stuff okay. some new power punches and stuff like okay. that so you, like you uh, the viewers you got to sit down well and watch yeah. your eyes inside okay. don't let someone tell you anything about that okay all right you have managed him over the last couple of years yeah. how solid how strong a boxer is he and i'm asking this question because Daniels won the world title is john kui one of those people number one he's the best to bring a world title to ghana because each and every time if uh, we're having a conversation he'll be telling me uh, boss i'll bring world title to ghana so if you check out my social media handle, each and yeah. every time I'll be posting, yeah. this is a boxer who is going to bring a world title to Ghana in few years to come. But yeah. I do believe in him as well. He's also one of the few boxers that box rec have their eyes on. And it looks like he's getting a steady rise and a steady climb through the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. Looking at him from a distance, and clearly you have been close to him, how long should we wait? before we see him at that top stage? Uh, probably, uh, uh, let me say uh, thank you to Mass TV for at least uh, getting in touch with me. Let me say thank you to Mass TV once again for getting in touch with me. That, like, uh, they, 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 they've seen uh, like something better in this guy and they know what the guy can do. So they contacted me and they wanted us to at least partner and do the thing and, and bring the world title to Ghana. And God willing, next year we'll be surprising uh, uh, our viewers. Yeah, inshallah, if, if, if God permits. Okay, well, you heard it all from uh, the man Mubarak. Mubarak is the one who's nurtured John Quay through and through. And we'll be seeing John Quay in action uh, later tonight. And I can also tell you that Mubarak will be in his corner to guide him through. He says we should expect a lot from uh, John Quay. So let's all sit back and enjoy this bus. The bell has gone over and over again. And the boxes are still at it. Round! Three. Here we go. There's a third round of this fight, which is scheduled for six. And it's John Ung Ingwa taking on David Odate Lamte. David Odate Lamte is the rasta head one. Ingwa is the taller of the two boxers. Previous round they didn't end professionally. Bell went. They were still fighting, but here they go. It's a give and take affair at this stage. 
Odate almost always in the lead. And Ingwa, Ingwa is employing his superior boxing skills much to his advantage. And the corner men of uh, Lamte are urging him to keep applying more and more pressure. But reckless pressure can uh, make you to commit more blunders, which could prove very, very costly. He seems to be complaining, uh, David Lamte. He seems to be complaining. And I'm not too sure uh, whether the complaint has got to do with uh, his right arm. He seems to be holding that out. And you realize, doctor, a ring, ringside doctor has uh, stepped into the ring to take a look at it. Yes, I think he has a problem with the shoulder. Between the last time, location. and the last time I remember there was a boxer with a, a, a dislocation, it almost uh, proved fatal. That was a heavyweight contest. Uh, Isa Inusa against Eric Tofa. It almost uh, became a fatal affair. We hope uh, a similar incident will not happen. We had uh, Tofa taking a huge punch that sent him into coma. He had to be revived at the hospital. Well, our ringside doctor is uh, doing his possible best to uh, put it together. Edward Asante, that is. A little bit of a problem now for David Lamte. And at this stage, all Ingwa can do is to wait for it to be fixed. Philip Ingwa. Still working on the shoulder. He complained earlier to uh, referee Mills. And that's it. That's it. The shoulder injury will not allow David Lamte to continue. And that means Philip Ingwa will walk away with victory. Just ended bout number three and we are now waiting for the verdict. It was the super lightweight contest of our six rounds and now we have the verdict. Shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? Now we have the verdicts. We have the verdicts. In round number three by a technical knockout, presenting to you the boxer from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of the man who is known to be called the killer Ebenezer please let's welcome Philip Ingua now Philip Philip congratulations thank you now is a military officer from the Ghana Armed Forces he's a boxer congratulations once again thank you uh how did you see your opening he gave you a run for your money oh yeah he's a good boxer but uh, his punches is like massaging he was massaging me so i'm not hearing his punches yeah now as a military officer are you happy to be here fighting and your colleagues watching you on tv oh yes please but i forgot first of all i thank god uh, thanks to ghana armed forces GMBA, my coaches and the viewers and those who have come to watch the fight. Thank you. And I want to say hi to my hometown. Zanure Borigazoko, Matitina Yuladela, Asarma, Mabelme, Nerikema, Fafala, Maka Polishi, 
But the Pupa man, they did the support man, they did two title. They go up Bolly Gazo, they did the Baba Inta. For what I love for they did the champion. Thank you very much. So you can only get this on Max TV, where you have everything about sports and entertainment and more. Now, now, finally, what message do you have for Max TV? Max TV made you to go live on TV. Your brothers and sisters, families watching you from Bogatanga. What message do you have for Max TV? Oh, what I have to say is, Max TV, thank you very much. Uh, from Max TV, the head and down, those who are working on, thank you. And thank you for supporting Ghana Boxing. Yes, because some of us, we have the talent, but we don't have help. But as far as Mass TV are holding Ghana Boxing, we, we thank them. Yes. Thank you very much. So that is the military officer, Philip Ngoa. Thank you very much.